hello friends okay so today i am going to demonstrate asynchronous aws lambda calling okay so here what we will do we'll call our lambda function from uh, event bridge okay A amazon event bridge okay so for that first we need to log into our aws account i am logged into my us east to uh, ohio region okay and now i'm going to create a lambda function okay so i'm gonna use a blueprint and i'll type here hello world okay with python okay so it's using python 3.7 okay i'll select it i will configure it it will open and we'll type a name my new lambda okay my new lambda fine that's it now we will it will create a new role with basic lambda form permission what it will do it will uh, create an im role okay and that im role will have the permission have the permission for lambda function to uh, lo write logs in uh, cloudwatch okay so this is the function code okay and we'll create the function by like clicking here create function and you can as you can see it will start creating our this function configuring it and create the im role um, for us for the lambda function to call the aws cloudwatch logs create the cloud log groups okay so this has been created okay so this is the i gonna modify this code a little bit okay what i will do i'll just paste it here and i will just write hello world okay and then deploy it okay fine you can remove this space deploy again now it's been deployed okay uh, now what we are going to do we, as you can see there are no triggers right now which will trigger our lambda function we are going to go to amazon uh, this amazon even bridge right okay and then we can create a rule over here okay then create a rule and we can write a trigger my lambda fine okay so this is gonna be a scheduled lambda we can use the event pattern as well we will see it later on and now with schedule we can put like in one minute for one minute every one minute it will trigger we can add cron expression as well but uh, that is the thing for some other videos okay so we can here and see the target select target and this lambda function you can select many other things from aws services but here see we have one lambda function so this is the lambda function okay and when we can create it so the now the rule has been created okay and it's enabled okay and we can see after refreshing it you will see that there will be a trigger over here okay uh, which will be there and showing the lambda function will be triggered from that trigger we have added okay let's wait for the console to respond okay so uh, yeah here you can see event bridge cloudwatch events it will trigger our lambda function okay so we can see here in monitor okay the cloudwatch events so we can go to this cloudwatch it's already open we can go okay yeah it's opening so this cloud watch will if the event has been triggered and it uh, code has been called we must see uh, in our log groups the logs okay let it load it's getting loaded okay see okay so we have here a log stream over here and if you open we can see this hello world see we have it has been already triggered twice okay one at 26 2 and one at 27 2 
so two times it has been triggered okay great so we have successfully accomplished our task so we have our lambda function which has been triggered which is we got triggered from uh, the event bridge and we will we have successfully uh, trigger our lambda function okay and if we want to see some configurations what you can see here in configuration we have permission so this is the lambda uh, lambda uh, role this i am role that has been created which allows our lambda function to uh, give the permission to write the logs in the cloud watch and if you see see here in the cloud watch and it gives it writes in this log group which we saw in this here this is the log group okay and this is the resource based policy so whenever you uh, whenever any of the aws service will trigger our lambda function so we have in this area it will show so the aws event will trigger our lambda function okay okay fine uh, so one thing we will we'll now do uh, okay so we will try to now we will disable it okay so what we will do we will check if our lambda if by chance our lambda functions fails then what will happen we can add a dead letter q uh, for our lambda function for the failed uh, events right so we can go to the code and we will deliberately want our lambda function to fail so what I will do, I will put this here and I will say hello world next line is exception. Okay, so I will deploy it. So what I will do, it will raise an exception that something went wrong. Okay, okay, right now our event bridge is disabled, so it will not trigger right now what we will do we will now configure something in our lambda function so you can go to asynchronous invocation and here you can see uh, the maximum age of the event is this and the retry attempts are 2 and there are no dead letter queue right now so what we can do first of all we can create a sqs queue for dead letter so what happens that whenever one after processing uh, some of the records some of the events if something goes wrong we want to log those events into a location so we'll create a queue and in this queue all those mm, events will be logged okay so we'll create uh, my sqs dlq okay so first I'll skip it everything should be by default and we'll create a queue okay and if you go here you can see there are zero messages right now okay uh, okay so now we'll go to go to lambda and what we will do we'll edit it here fine so it can keep the maximum retry items and we'll select sqs okay so and here and we can see my sqs here is there we will hit the save okay so now it says that the provided execution role does not have the permission to call send message on sqs so obviously we didn't give any permission for our lambda function to write to the sqs we have the permission to write to the cloudwatch logs but don't have the permission to uh, send messages to sqs so for that we will will go to I am okay a better way to go is we can go from here we can go to our lambda function okay and okay here we'll go to the configuration we'll go to permission and here uh, we will see the role so where you can click here it will directly open that role for us and we can attach a policy there is an already a policy attached to log for the cloud watch and now we'll add another policy in this role see this is the basic lambda execution 
we can attach another policy we can write uh, here sqs okay so for now we will give full permission full access to sqs so the our lambda will get a full permission to do anything in sqs so it has been attached so now we have two policies attached to this role okay now when we uh, go to asynchronous invocation and I'll edit it okay now we'll select sqs and then we select the sqs dlq we'll save it now it will allow us to save it because now we have given the permission okay fine so what is the flow the event bridge will call the lambda function and if something goes wrong it will give a two tries there will be two retry events okay like this and it will after that it will send it to dlq our letter q right so uh, so we can see here right now we don't have any messages okay because we haven't and we here also there are no logs right now there's the earlier logs in there we can go to the log groups there will be only uh, one log group okay see yes and there is there is only one stream so now what we're gonna go uh, it's disable state we gonna go to the event bridge and it's in disable we will enable it and after enabling it it will trigger our lambda function and that lambda function will fail because we have the code to make it fail and after two attempts it will go to the sqs we can see we can check for this when it will call we can go here as well you can see if any logs generated yes we have now uh, the logs it's it's 534 and 534 it will generated some logs it has been triggered so see it will come up it's triggered only one time let's see if it is there actually it does what it does it will send a checksum it's a it's something it just uh, committed one time and the next time it will trigger it will trigger twice let's just wait for some time we'll go to okay Okay, we'll just pause it for a bit. Yeah, so I have paused the video for a few seconds, and now we can see. Uh, okay, it has been triggered twice. Okay, see, and 34, it was only one time. After in 35, in uh, 535, it has triggered twice, like it's retried twice. Okay, but it went to error state. And we must have in that letter Q. Let's see why it is not there. If we have any messages for us, call for the message. Trigger on a bit more, but why it is not showing it here? It must have one message in this red letter queue. Something is, yeah. Now you can see we have a message over here. You can check. See, this is the one message we got and it says that there was something went wrong okay so this is how we can configure it 
our uh, asynchronous call from lambda from our event bridge to our lambda and to our sqs right thank you guys